Bryant responding to the players poll where again yes they ranked him the 40th best player in the league. Essentially there are 30 plus more players better than Kobe being Bryant so says that poll. Our Chris Broussard is reporting that Kobe Bryant sent him a text during the summer when he was rehabbing saying quote the league is not ready or they have no idea what they're in store for to suggest that he'll be that guy when he starts to play again. Broussard says a few talent evaluators however have spoken to him since the preseason and say Kobe Bryant is quote done. Again Kobe says he knew they were a bunch of idiots. Stephen A. Smith, you corrected me. You said there's no way in hell there are 39 other players better than Kobe Bryant. What's your take on the latest? And what do you make of? Well, Kobe's I don't response? blame him for yeah. calling for. Yeah. I don't. I don't blame him. I don't blame him for calling folks idiots. I really don't. And obviously, you 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 want to refrain from engaging in name calling in all seriousness. Uh, but I definitely think if you're Kobe Bryant. You could say that with a smile on your face, but as vicious as those words may come across as being, it's definitely apropos. This is a five-time world champion who has done it time and time and time again. You do not count out the Black Mamba. Now, if you want to sit there and say he's not going to jump as high as he used to, or he's not going to run as fast as he used to, that would be different. But to sit there and say or imply that his game has dissipated to such a degree that people will imply that he's done or that 39 players in the NBA, uh, I'm sorry, that the 39 players in the NBA are better than him. As far as I'm concerned, whoever whoever said that about him, indirectly, quietly, uh, off the record, whatever the case, they are idiots. I know he ain't talking about me. I can tell you that much because there's no way in hell I'd say that there's 39 players on the planet better than Kobe Bryant. The skills are just too sublime. They're too real. When you take into account the sport of basketball, what it entails, fundamentals, footwork, basketball IQ, understanding the game, knowing how to get to the free throw line, knowing how to use your body to create contact. It ain't just about having a handle or a jump shot or jumping over everybody. All of these things come with playing the game of basketball. And there are very few people that we have seen in the history of this game that understand the nuances of playing basketball better than Kobe Bryant. There is no way in hell that there are 39 <laughs> players better than Kobe Bryant in the NBA, in Europe, or anywhere else. I don't care. You can't find 39 players on the planet better than Kobe Bryant. It is simply absurd, and he is absolutely right to call anybody who believes that an idiot, because they are. Hmm. Okay, just point of reference here. I think we're possibly confusing his response. It wasn't to Chris Broussard's anonymous quotes about he's done from, I don't know, personnel directors or GMs. I think it was directly in response to being ranked 40th. And when he said, I've known for a long time, they're a bunch of idiots. He was talking about the, play the, the players. Or no, 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 no. He's talking about the panel of experts at ESPN.com yeah, yeah. that ranks him because they ranked him, what was it, 25 last year. Last year. Yeah. So he says, I've known for a long time, yeah. they, the panelists, are a bunch of idiots. I don't think he's calling whoever Chris Broussard quoted, uh, uh, yes, whatever they are, yeah. GMs or personnel yeah. directors or scouts or whatever they are, idiots, because I'm going to take what Chris wrote, even though they're anonymous, I'm going to take those to the bank. I think there are at least two people out there that I would have respect for who believe that Kobe is done as, as we used to know him done, as far as he, he'll never be close to being that guy again, the Black Mamba Kobe, all caps, you know, K-O-B-E, Kobe. That guy, I, I don't know. I told you yesterday, I am waiting and seeing. I've told you many, many times, I read far more into the NFL preseason than I read into the NBA preseason. So I saw some highlights from the Utah Jazz scrimmage that they had last night. And a couple times, Kobe put on a couple moves on guys, looked okay. I have no idea. I'm not going to read into it because teams don't try very hard in NBA preseason games. We've got to let the real ones start. And then I'm going to say it again. The most debilitating injury any athlete can ever suffer is the Achilles rupture. And how Kobe will bounce back from that on top of the, the knee break that he had or the whatever it was, broken bone near his knee, I don't know. So we need to see when the real games start, 
what he is. Could he well, end up being about 40th rank? He could end up being that way. I, I think he can still score 20-some points a game. He might have to do it, as I've but, said before. He might have to be the Wizards' Michael Jordan to do it. And that was a ground-down Mike. You remember him. He just did it on guile I, and strength. Okay, can you do that? I don't know how much it helps your team I, to I, do that. I remember a dial-down Mike that wasn't clearly the Michael Jordan that we knew and loved. You couldn't tell me there were 39 players better nope, than I him. I agree with even that at for that a fact. Yeah. He, he that, was 20-6 and 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 his last point. year. Average 20-6 and six that, rebounds. That, and, and that, and, 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 but that's my point, Skip. If the measuring stick was Michael Jordan's greatness compared to what Michael Jordan was as a wizard, we had a right to be critical from that perspective yep. because there was a flagrant level of dissipation that we saw. But to sit there and then ter interpret that as meaning there were 39 players better than Michael Jordan, that would be blasphemous. And that's what I'm saying about Kobe Bryant. Yep. Kobe Bryant is Kobe Bryant. This man plays on both ends of the floor. You got guards in this game who can average 20 a game that can't guard that, that can't guard a dude playing against them with hands tied behind their back. I mean, come on now. When you look at Kobe Bryant and the game of basketball, we talk about these panel of experts, and I'm not trying to sit there and call anybody idiots. I'm saying Kobe's right to do it. Yep. Not that I would be right to do it. I would call their decision about that idiotic. But that doesn't mean they should be denigrated and none of their opinions in regards to anything else should be taken seriously. I would never disrespect my contemporary like that. But I am saying, as a basketball guy, I love and appreciate greatness because I don't get to see it very often. And I don't just look at Kobe Bryant putting the ball in the hole and judge the totality of his skills and what he brings to the table based on that. I understand the game. And when I look at Kobe Bryant, this dude is elite, and there is no way there are 39 guys better than him. And to sit there and watch the game of basketball, I mean, tell me that Kobe Bryant might get hurt. Tell me that he may miss X number of games because of the ACL injury or, so, or the Achilles, rather. Mm -hmm. I get that part. I understand that. But to sit there and to say that even if Kobe Bryant was 100% this year, that there would be 39 players in the NBA better than him? In what world? Forget the NBA. On the planet, you can't tell me that there are 39 players okay. in this world better than the Kobe Bryant we've been watching for the last 18 years. That is ridiculous. I hope you were right. Now, back to his on-camera response. It was interesting to me that I didn't exactly see smoke coming out of Kobe's ears, figuratively. I, I didn't see a driven Kobe respond, even though he said, oh, I've known for a long time there are a bunch of idiots. I didn't see instant anger in his face. I have seen him quoted over the last two or three weeks as admitting that some doubt starts to creep into your mind when you enter your 19th season and you're coming off a couple of injuries. Well, he is human after all. So I, I think he's not quite as brazenly confident as he used to be is that fair that's very fair no no, no it is not no it is not y'all i'm gonna tell you why why kobe bryant has always in, in, in more so than people realize kobe bryant has always been incredibly honest about how he feels about something and fearless so one of the things that he's doing in this particular situation, when I've, told, when I've spoken to him privately on numerous occasions, or when I see his quotes coming out now, what I see is a guy that is willing to give you insight into the battles that he has had to endure while he's been out. But Kobe Bryant on the court does not believe at any point in time that he can't find a way to conquer you. That's what I'm saying. Kobe Bryant hasn't been playing basketball. So when he's being asked these questions, people are coming at him as if to ask, what have you been going through while you've been out having to rehabilitate, regain, you know, your strength, your health, et cetera. What's life been like for Kobe Bryant? That's entirely different than putting a ball in his hands while healthy with him on the court and saying, what do you think you could do against this guy, this guy, that guy? That's a totally different Kobe Bryant, which is the same Kobe Bryant. The Kobe Bryant that you're listening to and you're debating about right now, Skip, is the guy who's been out and is enlightening you as to what he has endured while sitting home on his couch, 
going through rehab, exercising, trying to get himself back mm. in shape. That ain't the Kobe Bryant that's on the basketball court. Yep. Not that Kobe Bryant. Okay, so bottom line to me, this is going to be one of the most intriguing NBA seasons I can ever anticipate. Because you, you talked about we got LeBron in Cleveland. What was your other big story that you brought up? We got the Heat. We got Kobe in L.A. Still got the Spurs. I won't even bring but that up. What, well, how interesting are the Spurs this year? They're Clippers. Win it. Clippers. They're going to win it all. Yeah. So, they're all they, back. Yeah, they're back. So Better than yeah. ever. <laughs> all right. Yeah. And Clippers. Uh, and